Hey guys, this is my Asia Page, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. For this video, I am just going to be talking to you guys and giving you guys a little update on what's going on. As you see, I, I got my hair done. You know, my mom did it for me. They're just box braids, and I feel cute. Um, <laughs> uh, so when it comes to when it comes to um, my pregnancy, my first ultrasound is this Thursday, so I'm excited for that. I'm going to most definitely vlog for you guys, so you guys can come along with me. Um, so right now I am six going on seven weeks. Uh, there's not really a difference. And I'm wearing like these really tight black pants, so but there's not really a difference. You can't really tell. Uh when it comes to work, because I feel like a lot of you guys do know that I work for Amazon. So when it comes to work, I do VET. So I feel like so I VTO and I VET, and I VTO on my normal shifts, which is 6.45 to 1.45, because those shifts are, like, much harder for me for some reason, and whenever I do the afternoon shift, which is from 2.15 to 7.15, sometimes it varies depending on, like, how much stuff you get done, but I feel like doing VETs is much easier for me because they do it so much differently than normally. Because it's like when you first enter, you know, when you VET, your name's gonna be on the board. So I would go look at my name, go get a device, log into the device. And instead of doing um, the normal stowing, we're doing dynamic stow. So you would sign on and log into dynamic stow. Instead of having like the little thing that you scan the packages into the system, you use your phone, because on your phone you can also just scan it without using the little clickers. So I would just go to the area where I'm doing the carts at. Um, most of the time, depending on the situation, they will have you stow, do dynamic stowing from anywhere from four to six carts. Uh, on light days is four, on days they really need you is six or seven it can be even more than that because i had had that before um so that's what i've really been doing i've just been beat team i would work for like four hours because all you do is do the dynamic stall and then when you're done with that you know you take the card outside like normal um so i'll take it to the delivery station and then other people that work for amazon that have like the um, that have their own vehicle and they deliver packages through their own vehicle, they'll pull in and grab the packages they need. And sometimes they'll have me, like it varies, like sometimes they'll have me helping people put their stuff in the carts and moving the carts back to like restock it and everything. And sometimes they would have me, um, sometimes they would have me inside still buffing, That's, yeah, still buffing, like the normal routine. But it's so much lighter. There's not a lot of heavy boxes because they also have to keep in mind that these are people's personal cars, you know. So it's like not everybody has big cars working there. Some people have small cars, so their boxes have to fit in the car. So I really like the UT because the boxes are not as heavy as like the normal shifts. Because the normal shifts, like you can get packages up to 70 pounds and no one will really help you unless they actually see you struggling. But sometimes with how big the warehouse is, it's like not everybody is around you when you are struggling. So it's like if you are struggling, you got to do it yourself. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's really where I've been. Like I have an appointment. I look so different. I don't know why. I dyed my hair, by the way. I did a lot of things that was just off camera because I was going to make a video on dyeing my hair when my hair wasn't in braids. But I just got these braids done yesterday. Well, I got them finished yesterday, but I really got them started the day before. But then, you know, I didn't feel like sitting down any longer. So I told my mom if we can just wait. And then before I go to work yesterday, if we could finish it. And that's what we did. So um, that's really where I'm at. 
I dyed my hair black and I do have a video of what it looked like like afterwards so I might put that video in somewhere so you guys can see that my hair is no longer like the brown the crazy little color you know it's black and I got these braids when my hair was red so it's like now that my hair is black it's like I guess it's all right because these braids have black and red so I guess it fits pretty decently um but the main purpose of me getting these braids was for my hair to be braided like right after I did that video on cutting my hair but then I never like had time to get my hair done but this is what it looks like you know your girl's feeling herself a little too much but um I was thinking about I was thinking about making a video on like different hairstyles for box braids and how to like loosen your hair when um you first get your braids done but I started doing my research on that like I don't feel like a lot of people really want to see videos on like how to loosen your braids because I realized that not really that much people is interested in that but you know a lot of people do get braids and when you know like when you first get your braids done it's like it's like really tight at first and then you have to loosen it up I was gonna make a video on that but I'm not really sure how that would do um my family is adjusting, but you want to know which family I freaking love the most when it comes to this situation is my fiance's side because it's like every time I'm on the phone with him and his nieces or anybody in his family on this other side calls, you know, they're always asking about me and how I'm doing and, you know, that feels good. It feels good knowing that people care about how my pregnancy is going um, and they're not wishing bad, you know. Uh, you know, life is still life, you know, I have like eight months left, so I'm excited for that, because then I'm going to have our little bundle of joy, a part of our videos, you know, I might make a new YouTube page for where it's like, well, we, me and him already have a couples page, but I feel like we might change the name. I don't know, but I just wanted to come on here to let you guys know how I am doing. I am doing all right. Um, I'm hanging in there, you know, and I do appreciate everybody that has been checking up on me and commenting under my videos, and I try my hardest to respond back to every last one of you guys because you guys mean the world to me, and I love you guys so much. And I don't know where I would be right now without you guys. And um, I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. If you guys have like any suggestions on what type of video you guys want to see from me, comment down below. And I would most definitely do it just for you guys. I love you guys. Peace.